hello so today in this video i'm going to discuss about another job profile it's uh, with blackrock and it's uh, a job profile for quant uh, engineer or quant developer uh, people use these two words uh, interchangeably so they are more or less the same you know you may be a quant developer or quant engineer so basically uh, people who work as engineers or, or or developers in the quantitative finance field now these are people who actually work on the implementation side or on the data side okay they don't uh, develop algorithms and uh, they don't uh, build models but they work on implementation of these models for use so yeah i've discussed about uh, quant job profile in detail in many of my videos on this channel you may want to go through some of them um, but in this video i'm going to discuss about this particular job profile which is with blackrock in gurgaon in new delhi in india so i'm glad that such roles are coming to india more and more i think that's only going to increase over time because when you have a bunch of global firms coming to india others others will also follow that happened uh, in the it uh, space um, decades back uh, that's happening in other areas also nowadays and certainly in, uh, in quant finance is happening so more and more such jobs will come to india uh, all right so in this uh, video let's uh, go through about uh, the the job profile of such a role and it's in their tech team <clears throat> so they're very clear you're not going to be doing quantitative research you will be working the tech side uh, but you will be working very closely with uh, the the quants okay and bit about blackrock it's uh, one of the biggest investment firm in the world and they are into all kinds of investments and not just equity but even in other uh, asset classes they're uh, they're quite active and they have a global presence they are in all markets they have offices across the world uh, especially in all the financial centers whether it's london or new york or singapore or hong kong or sydney uh, or uh, tokyo in all these places they do have offices and they are into uh, all kinds of markets all kinds of products so uh, very diverse set of portfolio they have and and i think if you have uh, experience in uh, working in blackrock that experience will be quite valued in other asset form asset management forms quite uh, quite valued simply because it's blackrock is like one of the best in in that um, in that area right so it's like working in goldman sachs in the banking world uh, right then that will have a lot of weightage on your cv if you have some experience working uh, at blackrock all right uh, incidentally they do have office second office in india also right i think they are also in mumbai yeah because i think when i used to work in india i i also had an opportunity to interview at their mumbai office around the time when i was moving to europe i think that's when i got this opportunity um okay so roles and responsibilities it's uh, as i've said it's a quant developer role so you're not going to be developing models but you will be working very close to the quant researchers um the phd one but also the ones who are heavily into doing research um in different kind of research and um, so blackrock in is more into uh, long term investment right they are not into or uh, less into hft type thing they are not into uh, this trading right uh, making money through um, uh, manipulating data on on uh, on 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 different uh, uh, you know uh, equities uh, different asset classes so it's not about short term money making it's about long term investment right so keep that in mind because some people are too much hell bent into just going into trading area nowadays uh, what i tell them is that there are other areas of finance equally interesting so broaden your uh, you know search don't just focus on short term uh, 
money making through trading right obviously that's one very interesting area but there are also other areas anyway um yeah so the primary responsibility is to transform investment ideas from research papers and python notebooks into well engineered processes primarily using python that leverages uh, an innovative technology platform it's a tech role wherein you will be taking the ideas the models um, developed by the uh, researchers and you you are going to be you know developing a software a piece of software um based on what the researchers have uh, developed as in these researchers actually come up with all kinds of models uh strategies and uh, these models have to be converted to um yeah a software basically where then it can be used um, with a with a click of a button right this is nothing fancy to be honest you know it's it's uh, it's it's more like okay somebody has developed a formula uh, uh okay this is how you are going to you know assess an uh, an asset class right you are simply going to be using some code to implement that on certain platform with the inputs and 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 given set of outputs and somebody who will be using that system will not have to write the code himself but he will simply be pushing the button and you will get the output given the inputs because inputs keep on changing right with uh, with time right and the inputs could be macroeconomic variables different uh, other kind of uh, data fields right so as long as you are uh, a techy person you are good with technology you are you are familiar with uh, python uh, you have developed softwares end to end and you have strong interest in uh, trading investment finance in general this is one good profile for you right somebody who is not at all interested in finance will not do well in this uh, this kind of a job right but if you have some interest in finance and you're willing to uh, learn some finance uh, then this is a really good profile um, especially if you already have software engineering uh, experience a lot of the software engineers who reach out to me they question their experience as if whether is it easy for them to move from software engineering to quant finance will that move be easy and i tell them that your experience is already relevant so it's not like you're moving from a completely unrelated area because quant finance has now become heavily technical so your uh, engineering background your software engineering experience will be uh, extremely valued there right and certainly in such profiles it will be valued right but you must have understanding of finance you must have understanding of some quantitative modeling the terminologies jargons you should be familiar with and for that you need to read some books you should uh, do some courses uh, or you should do some certifications um before you can be considered for such a role but you can also self study by the way that's quite possible okay so what do they expect uh, they expect couple of years of professional experience and you should have solid understanding of mathematics machine learning quantitative analysis and so on and so forth so don't they don't expect you to be already working in finance so even if you are working in google or microsoft or cisco or oracle it's still fine right you know they are still willing to hire you as long as you have you're able to demonstrate that you have good understanding of mathematics and machine learning and you know quantitative finance you you have if you have some interest in finance you should be able to articulate that and how how you can do that you know just do some side projects learn some some of things from courses or from books or from videos and then write about that uh, on your cv and that will give an indication to the hiring manager that uh, this guy has some interest in finance right and uh, that will also help you to sort of uh, uh, be different from other guys who have no knowledge of finance right how about you are a proper finance guy mba finance but no programming experience will this role suit for you no i wouldn't advise you to go into such roles if you if you are not a programmer you should you should avoid uh, these roles okay great uh you should have strong interest in software engineering familiarity with uh, you know agile test automation object oriented programming code refactoring release management well these are different aspects of uh, software development right these are software development best practices and you should be familiar with that so this role is more like 80% software engineering 20% quantitative finance okay 
by the way the the, the pays are quite good it's probably as good as um any other quant researcher but even in, in fact the pays are better than working as a quant in uh, in any bank or insurance firms so even if you're a quant developer in an asset management firm you make more money than a proper quant in a big investment bank so so don't think that this is less lucrative okay and uh, i think they probably will ask you uh, questions related to algorithm and data structure uh, because uh, um, performance tuning is very very important in uh, in data uh, in such profiles right uh, the, your code should uh, perform really well so it's not just to write code but the code should be efficient um, and uh, computing uh, matters a lot especially uh, the time it takes to run a code so computational efficiency is quite important and hence you can expect questions from data structure algorithm um, yeah all these you know dsa questions that you prepare for software engineering roles so i don't have to tell you this i think those coming from statistic mathematics background they probably haven't studied dsa but if you are coming from computer science background uh, i'm sure what i'm talking about right so dsa is quite important if a uh interest in such roles and if you have uh, experience with uh, data engineering tools like hadoop and spark and kubernetes and all uh, is is quite good as well uh, as i've said uh, python is gaining popularity in the quant finance space and um, it's uh, uh, more and more jobs that i come across um, there is a requirement of python so the popularity is, is only growing over time but there are companies who still use c++ even python and c sharp but i think most of the jobs now and now are days i come across uh, in the field of quant finance uh, they use python so if you are someone willing to start a career in quant finance um, you must learn python all right so this is this is it if you have any specific question on this let me know as always thanks for watching